good afternoon YouTube world man I'm excited to say that um, I've got some of the best viewers ever known to man because at five hours ago well that's when I got the email <laughs> at five o'clock this morning four or five o'clock this morning I got an email from a woman her name is Lorraine and she has she saw the video from yesterday with uh, Buford living in his car in the parking lot over there and uh, she she sent me $20 on my Venmo account um, today is Sunday and shortly after after lunch here after noon 10 after and uh, she wants me to go get him some stuff see you know suggested a bag of ice and uh, one of those rotisserie chickens, which sounds delicious. Perhaps a uh, loaf of Italian bread or, you know, some fruit. And I mean, whatever's available. So I'm on my way to see him. I normally don't get out on Sundays too much. You know, I got a lot of things to do at the house and I kind of use Sundays as my personal day to, you know, do laundry, take out the garbage, just get caught up, get organized for the week. You know, that type of thing, you know, obviously check my emails and you know that type of you know that type of deal but she also sent them a great bible uh she initially sent it for eddie but there was two that came in about three days apart and uh you know eddie got the the first one and she said well hey offer him the one i sent you know a couple weeks ago and i'm like yeah no problem so i have it in hand and we're going to go talk with mr buford and see, um, I think I'm gonna just simply ask him if he wants to go with me to Walmart, which is less than five minutes away from where he lives in his car, and uh, give him the opportunity to get what he thinks you know would be best. I don't even know if he likes chicken, but a uh, bag of ice probably certainly wouldn't hurt. We'll get the big 20 pounder. Uh, with that being said, guys, you know, hey, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see him here in just a few minutes. I'm, sh I'm I would have to be willing to bet dollars of donuts that he's there. So, uh, don't have to go looking for him. Sad just by itself. But uh, thanks, Lorraine. You're awesome. You know, all of you are awesome just for even being here. But some go, you know, a little bit above and beyond, and you know, it's uh. That's what makes me go, you know, knowing that people give a shit, you know, pardon my language, but that's how I feel. All right, we're going to sign out. Next time uh, we're live here is going to be with Mr. Buford. All right, guys, we're going to see if we can find uh, Mr. Buford. I'm pulling in. Oh, well, definitely. Look at this, man. Every door open on his vehicle just to stay cool. All right. Well, I'm going to talk to this young man, and we're going to see what we can do to help him out. Got some cool viewers. And we're going to go from there. Hello, Mr. Buford. So good. How you doing today, sir? We're good. All right. Yeah, and then relaxing. Well, I guess you got no choice. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. Right. Um. I'm not sure if I kind of have you. Do you go to YouTube at all? I mean, when you were able to, you know, have on a phone or a computer or whatnot, a tablet? Yeah, a phone, but I don't need to about that. Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking is because, um, you know, what I do, I don't know if you looked at my card a little bit, but I have a YouTube channel and I put up your video yesterday, um, well, which is basically about 24 hours ago, you know, when I came by bring you that lunch and um the, the only way that i can you know do what i do is you know i have a bunch of viewers subscribers that support you know what i'm trying to do you know to help people out and with that being said about four o'clock this morning i got a uh a donation from a woman um she sent it to my venmo uh account to give you some groceries so Obviously, there's nothing going on here today, and you, we are eight, we are eight night here at nine o'clock. 
Well, that's, you know, breakfast, but I'm talking about for the rest of the day. Well, you know, could you use some groceries? Well, I ain't got no, no, no uh, can of them to get in there. I got a can opener. Oh, have you? Yeah. But then again, if you had a can opener, I mean, most of the stuff in cans, you kind of got to cook. Yeah. But. Well, I ain't got no way to cook it. Well, I got a can opener. You know, got no way of cooking it one time say. Right, right, right. But I'm talking about, you know, like just, you know, food items. Oh yeah, you know. food items that I, I got a spoon here that I, that I can use, use a spoon to eat out of cans. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got you some silverware, and I've got a, uh, you know, a few items that I brought, yeah. and this woman's name is Loretta. I'm sorry, Lorraine, oh, yeah. and uh, she had sent, you know. Um, sent that money and she wants to know she, her idea was to get a rotisserie style chicken you know a big bag of ice for you okay. and uh, maybe some fruit a loaf of uh, Italian bread yeah. what do you think about that sounds great. sounds great I talked to a guy this morning you know he, uh, he preached this morning uh, in here when I was eating uh, what was his name Chad Chad okay Anyway, uh, I told him I would have to get me a beagle. I get the money saved up. He said, how much money I've got saved up. I told him, uh, well, this month, uh, I, this cheap right here, I'll get a probably have about, about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400 saved up. I'll tell you what. If, uh, let me run some an idea by you and see what you think. Um, if you don't mind, in the next, you know, several days, if you have some money saved up already, well, uh, at the end of this month, I would have thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars saved up. At the end of this month. Yeah. Okay. So today's the. Today's the twelfth, I think. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, I know it's Sunday. I usually don't get out too much on Sundays, but in your case, I had to try to help you out. Yeah, they deliver it tomorrow by twelve. Okay. How do you charge your phone, sir? In there. Oh, they let you charge. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. But uh, I guess what I'm getting at is I could take you car shopping, you know, uh, you know, maybe yeah. an hour a day or so, you know, anywhere in the general area. Yeah, but and the thing about it, yeah, uh, these days now you got to have at least twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars to put a down payment on the car. Well, I mean, that's to drive it off. But I guess what I'm getting at is if you find something you like, we could talk to the management there and say, hey, if he puts 500 or $1,000 down on a car, you know, if you give him 90 days to, you know, pay it off, you know, if you find something you really like, you know, that way it doesn't disappear on you, you know. I mean, it's up to you. But I want to give you the opportunity to go for a road trip with me if you choose to go to Walmart. And, uh, you know, can you lock up your car? Yeah. Would you like to go with me to Walmart and we'll get you some stuff? Some groceries? Yeah. Okay. I really ain't got a whole lot of money in there. No, no, this woman's paying, you know, you got a, you got a $20, uh, you know, credit to get whatever you want. Okay. I've got, I've got, I brought, I, I kind of matched her, uh, her donation. Let me show you what I brought you. Um, first of all, would you say you would call yourself, would you say you're, you're a religious man? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Do you have a Bible, sir? No. Um, would you like one? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't read that yet. You don't read? Do you need reading glasses? No, I got some right there. I'm saying I don't read that good. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I need to go somewhere to use the bathroom. Okay. Well, um, all right. Um... I'm not sure. Oh, I would have probably imagine you could maybe use the uh, restaurant or the, the restaurant, the auto parts store here. Yeah. That's what I've been going. Okay. All right. No, no. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a few minutes to take care of that, and uh, I'm going to be sitting in my car right here, and I'll watch over your stuff. Uh, if you want to take this car, me up there, and I get out. It might be easier, faster, faster that way. Well, to, to right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can drive you over there. And then yeah. I can get out and get in the car. We're going to do what we're going to do. Sure. It might be a lot easier and faster. Because it's kind of rough hard to climb up that hill there. No, I got you. I was going to ask you, how, how well are you able to walk? I can walk real good, but it's kind of hard to, to walk up and down that hill one time. Say. Okay. All right. Be a lot easier for me. You want me to throw that in your back seat? No, no, that, that, that's not mine. That, that's not mine. 
Okay. You want me to close your other door? Yeah, make, make sure it's locked. You make sure it's locked? Not a problem, young man. You got your keys? Yeah. Okay, it's locked. Back door too. Yeah, I'll drive you over there. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, sure. All right, I can bring you over there. Not a problem. I like your hat, that's pretty cool. If I get enough money, save that back. Hey, hey, look around and get him a good vehicle. Chad, he's a real guy. He's a Christian guy. Real good guy. He'd be honest. And you said you're looking to try to get into a truck, you know, like a small uh, pickup? Yeah. I got uh, I got to go to the bathroom right now. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's make that happen. I'll bring you over here. Uh, I like have a uh, pickup. I got like, something over the back of it before I put all my stuff in the back of it. Like a like a cover for your for the for the bed the bed of a truck yeah a tonneau cover I believe yeah yeah my brother's got a real nice one yeah but I'm just saying it you know they're all shapes and sizes depending on your truck mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I will temporarily just pull in here to the okay. handicap spot to let you out okay. and I'm gonna back up to get out of this spot but when I see you. When I see you, here you go. Let me uh, figure this out. Okay. When I see you come out, I'll come get you. Okay. Yes, sir. You, just, you don't have to come get me, I just get in the car. I'm sorry? You don't have to come out and get me, I just come get, I just get in the car. Okay. Yeah, I ain't got no money to give you any gas, though. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, sir. That's okay. what I do. Okay. Yep, yeah. it's going I, two miles. If I, if I had, I would give it to you, though. Well, not required at this point. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. I want you to take a look at this. Yeah, let me move this water bottle. That was for my dog. You want to? Um, no, I just wanted to move that water bottle. Oh, you said yes, yeah, real quick. No, this, uh, this woman, her name's Lorraine. She sent a beautiful Bible. Yeah. And uh, the King James Version. Oh, yeah. Let me pop it out of here. It's a brown leather bound case. It's yeah. thousands of pages. Well, 1,500 pages. Yeah. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, flip through that. Oh, yeah. Do you get uh, much uh, use out of your arm? Can I ask what happened? I had a stroke in 2012. I get a lot of use out of my arm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Here, I'll set you up. I get a little use out of my arm, it's my hand. I don't yeah. get no use out of it. <laughs> well, I had a oh, my. I had a there show in 2012. In got, 2012, wow. Yeah, one day before Father's Day. Okay. Yeah, I get a lot of use out of my arm, man. It's, it's just my hand. I get a lot of use out of my, my leg, but I, I got a limp. Uh, I use a crusher, but it slows me down. I use it. I, I walk a lot faster without a crutch. Yeah. I want to eat her. Can I ask how old you are? My next birthday, I'll be 69. 69 on your next birthday. Yeah. Uh, wow. I met a woman this morning, and uh, she's uh, sent me, I think she said she sent me two, one or two, something like that. And, and she, uh, she got her own black car. She had her son with it. I said, You look like you're 60 years old. Is, she, is her name Francis by any chance? Uh, 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 she told me her name, I don't know what her name is. Okay. But anyway, she's got a case on this leg right here where uh, she uh, uh, was authorized or something like that. Well, we got a cane. Like, I walk, I'm no, I'm not, because I put it out, I walk 10 times a lot faster, better off than she does. Yeah. Uh, well, do you think you could use this Bible then? I have to get somebody to read it to me. Okay. I, I, I don't read that good. You don't read that good? No, I should appreciate it though. Okay. Like All right, right then I'll, I'll hold off on that. But in the meantime. I'll get somebody to read it to me. Like that. Yeah. Well, she I've got, a, I've got another. Buzz, you sure? Yeah. She, 
sure appreciate for y'all to help. You right now, y'all, y'all help me. I'm getting right now. But, I'm all the help you're getting right now. Yeah. Well, well, that's. Well, been, to me that says a lot, but in well, the grand been, scheme of things, that's kind of sad. I've been there for, for three weeks. Ain't nobody, nobody coming in all the time. Ain't anybody go there on, ain't off in, in, in no, no kind of help. All right. Well, we're going to see if we can uh, get you fixed up. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. And so uh, on, on I'm in my car. I live where you live. I used to live over uh, at... Uh, 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 I've got the name of motel up in Rocky, Rocky Face. I spent eight hundred dollars a month there. Now I got out forty, so I decided to live in my car. Now my car broke down. Now I'm living in my car. Do you know exactly what's wrong with your car? I know exactly what's wrong. With it uh, it run hot, hot, I, and I try to crank it, and it, and it won't crank it, and run the battery down. Like I told that car, not worth putting not one cent in it. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you the other day when I'm talking. Right. Yeah. No, I get it. It's just the fact that it's like it's, it's not car. worth putting one cent in. It's an old car. It's not worth putting in. And I'm no more time to put trouble in it. All right. Well, I got to have money to get me another car. That's what I'm trying to I want mine having a pickup. I got a cover on the back of where uh, then it won't get stolen and get wet while I can. I'll send my trunk fit in, I'll send my back to fit in. Alright. Well we can see if we can, you know, try to help you out there. But um I guess what I want you to do at this point, perhaps, is start to think about some items you want to get here at the Walmart. I mean we're less than a you know less than a half mile away. And uh, with that being said, I'll drop you off right at the front door. If you want to get some sandwich meats. Now, I've got a loaf of bread. I've got a jar of peanut butter for you. Multiple uh, jellies, uh, crackers. Uh, I don't like peanut butter. Six okay. Them gun, six them gun. Okay. Six them gun, but I don't like All right. Butter. Well, either way, I got you a loaf of bread, uh, some uh, saltine crackers, a bunch of those, those little bags of chips that you had yesterday. Yeah. You know, probably a... You know, at least a half dozen. I think I think there was eight in there. Yeah, you know, two different styles. I appreciate that. Yeah. When I get this woman to help me out, she don't part while I want her to part. She parts where she must part. And it makes a rough part of them. I went up. Yeah, we're twenty dollars in gas. What? I went up, wind up giving twenty dollars in gas, and I think I can afford to give her gas money every time we get her to help me out. Plus, she don't she, she doesn't step for it. She makes a rough part on it. She does. She parts more than Twenty dollars in gas. Yeah. Well, that's a robbery. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I say right now. I got it. Yeah. How much money you give me on gas? You know. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I, I'm not worried about that one bit. Well, that's what I say right now. You don't help that I, I'm getting right now. All right. Well. But then again, still. What I want to ask you is to try to get in your mind as to what you want to get. What do you think? Some sandwich meat or uh, maybe a sandwich or something like that. I I just had to let back out because about when I go in there and stuff like that. Okay. Well, like I said, I got a loaf of bread. I've got a. Uh, oh, I got some silverware for you. Knives and forks and spoons. I don't ever use no knives. Well, they're plastic knives. Yeah. I, I don't kid them about plastic because plastic all the time breaking and stuff like that. Alright, well. I always like the real deal. You know, what I always use. Well, I guess that's a great idea, you know, in theory, but, you know, as you're trying to save money, you know, to get a car so you can get out of your situation here. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to drop you off directly in front. Yeah, I, I tell you, I heard part right there. She part, she part way back here, she did. Yeah. Well, that's great. You know. Yeah. But here's the deal. I want to, uh, I want you to let me know. I'm going to find a parking spot somewhere. I want you to let me know where do you think you're going to be? Uh, I mean, are you going to be in uh, meats, uh, bakery, deli? 
you got to think of stuff that doesn't need necessarily be refrigerated. Yeah. But we will get you a big daddy bag of ice. Uh, uh, you got to listen to it. I can't but it was small bag. And I was, you know, next to where we were at the ice place, I always get back back of ice. Now you can't, but it's kind of hard to do it with two hands. Okay. Well, I, no, I can, I can, I can help you with that. Okay. But, um, all right, you, now, do you, do you need, want any fruit? Uh, I'm going to check out that stuff and we'll get in there. Okay. See what I'm going to get, see what I need. All right. Then I will see you in a few minutes, sir. Okay. Money yeah, well, I'm going to be in in a few minutes and okay. we'll, we'll take care of that. Okay. Yeah. So, $20. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. We're here at the Walmart market. You know, less than two minutes from the, you know, where, where he's parked. Well, and currently living. And uh, I'm not sure where Mr. Buford is. I've walked the perimeter of the store. You know, I had dropped him off so I could find a parking space. He got a little hitch in his giddy up. He had a stroke 12 years ago. Man, I guess when it rains, it pours. Well, I must say, I have walked every aisle encircled the interior of this particular Walmart twice with no success. Then it dawned on me. He very well may be in the bathroom. There he is. All right, I got him. Yeah, he's in a buggy. Tell you what, if you want to park over here, I'll, I'll go get the car. Yeah, you got a few things there. Oh, you you like the Monster Energies? Yeah. All right. Uh, tell you what, let me uh, yeah. let's put those ice bags in one of these. That way it doesn't leak all over. Although we're going to be back at your place in just a few minutes. You can throw that in there. I'll tell you what, I'll get the other one if you want to get in the car. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Pretty quick. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm fast as that. <laughs> That's I, don't, I don't use my debit card because I, I, I've got to have my food card, so I use my food card. Fantastic. Get your back safe and sound. Yeah. Give you a chance to go shopping. Get some get some ingredients. Yeah. I got that bread. She appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem, sir. I got some uh, bread and other items. Yeah, they got another friend comes over Wednesday at about one, about one o'clock. We can get take me to Bible study. Oh. Yeah. But you're saying you have a hard time reading, though. Yeah, I never did read that good. No, that's fine.
I don't, I don't hear you. I'm going to ask you to park on this side, the cool on this side. Right. Here, let me get that, sir. Or you can just do that. Well, here's your bags of food. Okay. You decide what you want to do with those. Okay. And I'll get your ice. Yeah, we'll make a fit. Not a problem. There you go, sir. Should appreciate this. Not a problem. I'll bring it over. Appreciate. Yeah, no worries. I got their bread and stuff. You want some food? No, I, I think I got them there. All right. I don't, I don't have a lot of bread. Okay. That's right here. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. I wish they my door open. Right yeah, let me get by. That way you can, if, you know, obviously, you know, with the heat and whatnot, you got to leave the door open. So. Going to be all right? Yeah, I sure appreciate your help. Yeah. I forgot about having my food card. Excuse me about that. Sure appreciate you having me out. Well, you know. I get enough money saved up by we try to get my car or something like that. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll come by in a couple of days. Okay. Maybe, uh, you know, after you get your belly full. Okay. Do some car shopping, get you some more ice. Okay, I don't want to do some car shopping and I'll get next month when I get paid. Well, you can at least look. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All righty. You going to be all right, then? Yeah, I, pre I pre appreciate your help. All right, you're welcome. What's your name, was? My name is Daryl Buford. Daryl, Daryl, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I got to go sit down right now. Yeah, absolutely. You want me to open this door a little further? No, i would be fine. Okay. Yeah. Another nice day. Okay, young man. I'll come by tomorrow just to see how you're doing. No problem. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, man. Poor guy. All right, hold on. I'd be remiss if I didn't do this. Hey, Buford, I got you a cooling towel, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. I sure, sure, sure appreciate it. Yeah, if you can lift your, uh, this guy here. Yeah, let's put this around your neck. Okay. This will help you out, young man. That will really help me. And then you could dip it in the ice. Yeah, that will really help me out a whole lot. Yeah. I think and, that, uh, that, that will work. Yeah, that will help you out. And then even when it's dry, it helps pull heat away from your skin. Yeah. So... Sure, appreciate all your help. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, thank you. All right, I'll stop by tomorrow. Is that okay? That'll be fine. Okay. All right. Well, you be careful, man. I, I, so. I, I need all help, all help I can get right now. I got some boxes at the house. Would you like a, um, if I cut something out of a bunch of boxes, would you like to put them in, in your windshield to block the sun? No, that'd be fine. You would like that? No, that would work. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can find out, and I'll be back tomorrow about this time, lunchtime. Okay, but well, at lunchtime, I'll, uh, I'll be better to come about one, about, about uh, two o'clock, because I'll come, I'll, I'll, I'll have something to eat then. At one or two o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah, I'll, I'll have something to eat then. Okay. Do you need to feed your 
12 o'clock every day and 5 o'clock in, in the evening. All right. Yeah, I can be by. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. Sure. All right, I'll put something together. Yeah, I'll cut something out. And uh, sure, appreciate it. we'll get you a little sunscreen for your window there so you don't have to burn up in the sun. Okay. Yeah. Sure, appreciate it. Yeah, I think we all know Georgia, Georgia summers are uh, pretty cool and calm and uh, or anything but. What, did, did I owe anything? <laughs> right. Yeah. Now that's uh, you can wrap that around, and all you got to do is run it under cold water or dip it in your ice bucket there in your cooler. Yeah, yeah. help you out a little bit. I sure appreciate it. I'll help you get it. Yeah, well, you're totally welcome, sir. Yeah, well, I'll help. I'll get right there. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, no more, no less. Yeah, yeah I want to get my rig off, put everything out of the get and get out of here. I can't believe you there. All right. I will see you tomorrow then. I'll bring uh, I'll, I will bring you some of that uh you know the uh, sunscreen for your for your windshield. I should appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Well, you gonna be all right? Yeah, I'll be okay. Okay. Well. You know, I'm energy it makes me feel good. It fills me up now. The orange juice fills me up. Makes me feel okay too. So I don't. don't Got to have orange juice. I don't eat a lot of food there too. It goes away sometimes. There's no doubt. I don't eat a whole lot. Okay. Well. Sometimes you don't have an option. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I was not awake, I didn't get used to it. I don't want all my food to go to waste. You're going to be 69 this year? Uh, next year. Okay, so you're 68 now. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Man, well, you shouldn't be out here. Obviously, everybody knows that. But, uh, okay. It's much good, you know, I do. I love those myself. Yeah, I love those monsters. I do. Did you get the the three for seven deal? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. All right. All right, young man. All right, I'll come back tomorrow and bring in that cardboard for your for your windshield. Oh, your door just closed. You want me to open it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, get some breeze flowing. Yeah, meet some breeze flowing. Yeah. Sure it. No. Yeah, not a problem, young man. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Sure you better be. Uh, you better be safe. Well, yeah. Do you? You don't sleep with your doors open, do you? Uh, this here I do sometimes. I get too loud to shut it. Ho. Oh. Well. I keep I shut that eaves right here and knock them. Yeah. This right here. Uh, this too I might open them a little bit and later on I shut them. Okay. No, I'm not scared of nobody out here. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. I say, you don't like fear to get the best of me. Yeah. I don't like the fear to get the best of me. Well, you're uh, I I stay in good spirit. Yeah, you want to, uh, yeah, you know, keep a positive attitude. Because yeah. that's the only way to get by. About uh, four or five days ago, this guy, uh, they used to sleep over wire, they used to sleep over wire right here, right here, till last night. He, he stayed here. He slept by there. He said, I'm scared. He started crying. He said, I'm scared. Who was it? I don't remember his name now. He said, I'm scared. He said, I'm going to try to get me a place to stay. He said, uh, all these people running around here and doing all kinds of drugs, he, they, they scare me. I can't stay here no more. And he said, they started crying. You know, you know what I told him? I said, I told him, I said, I, ain't scared. I got pirates. He said, pirates are too. He said, I can't fight, but I, I said, I let a pair of scissors in my phone in my fight. That's what I told him. Wow. I told him, I said, if they, they, they let you, if they let you know, if you get back, you, they, they'll, they'll bring you down. I said, I, I'm not going to let you get back, but they're not, not going to bring me down. I told him, I'm not scared. Don't have me scared. Would you recognize the man that was here? Yeah. If you saw him? Yeah. Was he white, black, Hispanic? White. White, white guy? Okay. Bald-headed. Bald-headed? Okay. And smoked uh, cigarettes. Uh, yeah. How long ago was this? About, about, probably about a week ago, I guess. I'm sorry? About a week ago. About a week ago? Okay. All right. Well, he, he, does he come here Does he come here for lunch? Uh, he, he stayed here for about a week. Okay. He so, stayed here for about a week and he said, I started crying. He said, I'm scared. They, they scare me. I, I think I'm, I don't let nobody scare me. That's what I told him. Oh. Yeah, that's not fun. 
No, nothing scarier than being by yourself with no, you know, no help. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of nobody. Well, I don't front anything. Well, you have to be. I mean, you have to be to survive out here. You know. See, I'm going to uh, my, my back might be going small and I'm stuck in the situation right here. Uh, I, I got to a tough ground. Don't let nobody scare me. Well, I, once I, you get intimidated, they, they come at you like wolves. Yeah, that's what I try to tell him. I told him right there. So there was a young white man. I told him, I said, you want to go to jail, you can go home. If they get mess with me, that means they, they want to go to jail. Yeah, yeah. One of us, for for one of us, this is not going to end well. No. You know. And I got a pair of scissors right here. I don't know why he walk around keep in my pocket. Okay. Do you think he could use a can of pepper spray? Yeah, I could use that. Okay, I'll bring that tomorrow when I bring the cardboard. Anyway, Does that sound okay? Sounds right. It's not as though you have uh, all your, you know, limbs and whatnot, and plus your, you know elderly and uh you know it's a shame that you're in this situation to begin with but i can take a car shopping when the time comes no big deal nothing to worry about now if you show them that you're scared they keep coming at you but i show them i'm not scared okay i, I ain't scared well no i'm i said i don't back down i just show them i ain't scared oh well that's a good point yeah I'll tell you what might help is if we put a shade on your window there, yeah. the sun wouldn't come in on top of your cooler. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. You want me to put that towel in the window there? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Do you mind if I do that? Yeah. You know, you don't got to move. It looks like some long johns. Would that be okay? Yeah. All right. Let's make that happen, young man. Long John t-shirt. All right, guys. There you go. Now that's gonna block all the sun from getting oh, yeah, on your yeah. on your cooler. I'm pretty yeah, yeah you your ice will last longer. Yeah, you gotta be tough out here. <laughs> oh yeah, well, without a doubt. Yeah. All right, we gotta get you out of here. Short, short, free shape. Yeah. It, not a problem, man. I'm trying to say I'm a survivor out here. Yeah. Well, I guess you got to be in order to be as, you know, be here as long as you have been. So. I'm mean, not tell anybody that I'm not scared. I, I, I show them I ain't scared. Well, you don't got to be scared. You just got to survive. Yeah. Same, yeah. Th same thing. <laughs> right. I guess in order to survive, you got to be scared. Yeah. To a degree. Okay. I sure appreciate it. Not a problem, sir. All right. I will let you be. I'll come back tomorrow. You're my you, you best friend. <laughs> That's your best friend? Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, that friend to help you out. Well, you know, that's... Uh, you, you don't want it so far, but help me out. Well, let's, uh, let's keep it going. Okay. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, you just relax. Okay. You know, and... Uh, yeah, get full of some food there, and okay. and we'll uh, we'll meet again tomorrow. Okay, well, sound good? Oh, one thirty, two o'clock, something like that. Yeah, because you're gonna be uh, after lunch. After lunch is yeah. what you're saying. Okay, I can make that happen. Okay. So, all right, young man. Do you want me to leave this door open or close yeah, it like you had it? Okay, you want it halfway? Right here. Cool. All right, then I will be. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow. Okay, I gotta have a uh, good fluid, fluid diet. Yeah. Oh yeah. You you got you got total nutrients. You know you're hooked up with uh you know got the orange juice and some calcium and you know yeah. Gatorade type stuff. You know electrolytes. Yeah. Good to go. All right. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Take, take All right. Take it easy, Buford. Good to see you again. You. Glad I could help you. Thank you. All right. Then we will meet again, sir. <laughs> I don't think it gets much more sad than that.
68 years old, going on 69. Just, uh, you know, when most people are planning retirement stuff and traveling and, yeah, I won't say most, but a lot, you know, doing the uh, luxuries of life, here he is, he living in a parking lot. It's a crying shame. I will do what I can to help this man. Okay. I'm going to sign off. I got to, uh, <laughs> I have to interpret the, the day's activities and, uh, just, just a mess. Okay. Well, I guess you could say, you know, as far as today's mission goes, you know, mission accomplished. All right. Thank you so much, Lorraine. That is totally awesome. Although he said he used his food card in this occasion, and he was he was done with this purchase before I even got in the building. Ten minutes. I was like, what? Uh, okay. Uh, what a character. But, uh, all right, cool. I will, uh, I'm going to be back, man, as you know.